John Arbaugh joins the show, his team division winners. And, Coach, congratulations on the victory. Obviously, as, as a guy who's won a Super Bowl, you know that this doesn't represent the finish line, but it's still quite significant. How, how do you frame the accomplishment to your men? Just like that. I mean, it's a great accomplishment. You know, it's our first goal is to, is to win the AFC North Championship, but it's not our top goal. Uh, but we're happy with it. We're proud of it. It's a, it's a great division. We still have two more games still to play in the division. We want to win both of those games, but it's important to us. It matters to us. Our guys are going to be wearing their T-shirts and their hats with pride, as you can see, and then we'll move on and get ready for the Browns. With Lamar Jackson, I started walking it back like about week two or three. I, I did a piece on this show, and I, don't, I, never, I never was publicly critical, but I, I, I know I thought after that playoff game last year, I don't know that this guy can do it. And then obviously you all recognized what he could do and figured out how to make him what he is. When did you all as a group realize, wow, this, this could be something that's just we really haven't seen? <laughs> a lot quicker than you did, obviously, you know. <laughs> uh, we, we, but, you know, you're a big man. I appreciate that. You are. That's, it says a lot about you and, you, and you have a chance to say, you know, I was wrong. I was wrong. And, I was. And a lot of people were. And, and it's okay, you know. We felt when we, when we talked about you know, Lamar Jackson in the draft meetings, weeks and weeks before we actually you know, followed through in the draft, we made a decision then. And we knew that uh, it was going to be different, it was going to be unique, and we talked about it, and we started making our plans then, and we decided that that was going to be the way we were going to go, and he was going to be our guy at some point in time. And we had Joe. We loved Joe, and Joe could have been there for whatever period of time it was, but at some point in time it was going to be Lamar. And that was going to be our guy, and we're going to build an offense around his unique skill set. You know what he does well, and to me, that's what that's what a coach should always do for every player: try to build something around their skill set and help them be the best player they can be. And I think our coaches have done a great job of that, but mostly Lamar has done a great job of that, and I'm real proud of him. That's just one phase, though, and your your defense in the off season lost so much that was the identity for for many many years. And I'm so impressed with how they've been able to to form a new identity. Obviously, Earl comes in; he's been a leader elsewhere. But it feels like you haven't missed a beat. How, how would you describe the way that group has has really forged the bond they have? I feel the same way. I mean, they have a lot of pride, you know, and, and we do. You get a chance to read about what people say, and because you lost some players, you know, you don't have. I guess it's just you saying the guys that you have aren't good enough, and Guys take that personally, and coaches take that personally. And you go to work, and, and you try to build something around the guys you have. I think we have a great system, and I think the, the players play really, really hard, and they execute the system, and that's, that's what it's all about. Oh, God. Yes, there sir. He's, trust. He's, he's pretty, he's big, big trust. trust. Big, big trust. trust. Yay! Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> trust. Yes, right on cue. Hey, right on cue. Hey, I, let, me close, let me close with just a thought about what we just saw, because we, we had Mark on, and I asked him about what I want to ask you. Your guys seem to really genuinely like each other, like the kind of, the kind of bond that can't yeah. be faked. How much does that matter to, yeah. to the success for a group? It matters a lot. I mean, that's what, it, that's what a team is all about. You know, you gotta, you gotta genuinely care about one another. You gotta really want the best for one another. You know, that's what, that's what leaders do. I mean, that's, what, that's why Lamar's such a great leader. Mark Ingram's such a great leader. I mean, they're, yeah, they wanna be great and they wanna do their thing, but they, want, they wanna be great for the guys around them too. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the. I'm proud of the mindset. I'm proud of how hard we play. But we have a lot of work still to do. I mean, we're just starting, Scott. Sure. I mean, when you when you get to this point in the season, you've stacked a lot of wins. But that makes the next game so much more valuable and so much more important. You know, and you got to find a way to be good enough to win the next game. And they only get tougher. So, you know, but they've got the right mindset. They'll go to work. They'll be ready. All the best with that. Thanks so much for taking the time. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Keep doing your thing. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate you, man. See you. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.